Good morning to everyone. Myself, J. Gerald John Brito, working as an assistant professor, Department of Mechanical Engineering, Amkun Center Technology, Raja Bodhan. So today I am going to take a topic of plane space and plane strain under finite term analysis. So come to the simple definition and the explanation of plane space. So we know that every three dimensional object in structural problem, even centromaterial aspect or any uh, structural related component. So every three dimensional relationship can be simplified as one dimension and also 2D cases because of the complex, complex in nature. If you take a complex three dimensional object, so for solving any kind of unknown parameters, either it may be a displacement or velocity, acceleration, temperature, nodal values, whatever may be. So uh, in three dimensional complex shape, it is very, very difficult because more number of unknowns, more number of equations, we cannot get the exact solution. For that reason, we are converting the entire three dimensional relationship into one dimension and also 2D cases. So here the fig uh, figure shows that, so this three dimensional object is converted into two dimensional object. This 2D case, it is, a, it is an example for plane stress. As the name indicates plane, so the load is acting in a plane, okay, parallel to the structure, okay, this is the load direction. So these loads are acting in plane loads over the surface, okay. So as per the explanation, a thin plate is loaded by force applied at the boundary. So this is the boundary contour of the plane structure. So the load is acting parallel to the plane. So that is what given here, parallel to the plane of the plate and distributed uniformly over the thickness. So here it is a 3D, 3D cases, you, you can see the thickness direction, but here it is a 2D cases, you cannot see the thickness direction. If you gone through this, so I will just draw here. So if you take this directional dimension, it is very, very large, So, but uniform cross section. So as per the definition, the distributed uniform over the thickness, the load should be distributed throughout the thickness direction, okay, that is very, very important. So the stress component along the direction of Z is zero because we are applying the load like this, okay. So only direction along X and Y. Along the Z direction, there is no load, okay. If there is no load, automatically the output parameter is also zero. So the stress component, okay, along the Z direction should be zero. So, so this is the main assumption of plane stress. Here you see the simple um, uh, schematic sketch. So x, y directional forces is applied over here. There is a plane. In, in case of plane, the loads are acting in the contours. So z directional loads are zero. Okay. Next term. So here the assumptions, the further assumptions also we need to consider while describing the plane stress condition. So I will raise the, this term. So first assumption you see here, uh, in our first assumption, the uh, loads are acting in a plane, planar direction and also parallel to the surface. In the second assumption here, the bodies whose dimension is very, very small in the lateral direction, that is z direction, okay. And also, uh, in simplest way, we can say it as, if you want to say plane stress element, the dim if you see the dimension of the surface, it should be smaller compared to the length direction. That means z directional dimension is very, very large compared to xy directional dimension. So that is what given here. The advantage of the assumption is that the 3D problem can be easily converted into 2D problem. In case of already we know that plane stress uh, condition the terms in terms of z directional values are zero. So, okay, without knowing that, we easily we can say there is no z directional force. So, directly I can write z directional stress and the shear stress along z x plane, shear stress along z y plane is zero. Therefore, so we can get the governing equation in terms of stress with respect to strain. So, this is a material property matrix. While describing the stress versus strain, as per the Hooke's law, we know that Hooke's law, so again, once again, I repeat that. So as per the Hooke's law, 
so root slash stress stress is directly proportional to strain within the elastic limit of e so here we are having two dimensional state of stress so that's what we are having normal stress along x direction normal stress along y direction and shear stress along xy plane so here it is a material property e so this is a strength of material governing equation it is structural governing it is applicable for all the all the structural equations so this is e is indicated for the two dimensional category so e by 1 minus mu this mu is nothing but poisson's ratio so this is poisson's ratio okay so 1 mu 0 mu 1 0 0 0 1 1 mu by 2 3 cross 3 matrix okay because the plane stress condition the nodes are three nodes okay that is triangle element if you consider triangle element that is three noded element that's why we are having three cross three matrix so here you can get a strain so this strain is a two dimensional strain so strain along x strain along y then shear strain along x y plane so this is what uh, governed here so we can go to the next one okay so this is stress vector this is constitutive matrix or material property matrix this is strain vector now come to the plane strain again it is the same as we have described in the um, plane stress condition so here also if we are converting this three dimensional into 2d so it is this is a 2d front frontal surface so this is a lateral surface you see that there is a large surface there is a large dimension is presented here so we are taking small portion of the entire 3d so as per the definition of plane strain the thin plate is loaded by force applied at the boundary parallel to the plane of plate okay and distributed toward the thickness so as described in the previous case also okay it is applied over the surface okay so the strain components are zero the co strain components along the direction of z is zero so here you see that so it, it is a dam like structure the waters are uh, what is collided over the wall so it will create a pressure this pressure is acted over the plane of xy so here you can see the clear idea about, about the applied force this is the pressure direction so these pressures are acting in a plane of x and y so there is no deformation in the z direction so there is no deformation in the z direction so probably we will get the z z parameters will be zero so here strain is zero in previous case stress is zero here the strain is zero that is the difference of plane stress and plane strain so everything has have different examples so i will see, i will show the examples in coming slide so here if the cross section is uniform along the length of may be assumed to be that displacement along z direction is zero so already we have described about this so for a plane stress cases and plane strain case here it is plane strain so we have talk about the plane strain so strain strain case so strain along z direction is zero strain along that is shear strain along z x plane is zero strain along z y plane is zero so this y plane is zero okay next case so i will show the demo therefore the equation for this plane strain condition so again you remember the hooke's law once again i repeat the hooke's law hooke's law says that sigma equal to p into strain that means stress is directly proportional to strain within the proportionality proportionality limit so stress again stress along x normal stress along x normal stress along y shear stress along x y plane then material property matrix e so e by 1 plus mu into 1 minus 2 mu 1 minus mu mu 0 this mu is nothing but poisson's ratio so in the nodal points okay so the final one is this unknown parameter of strain okay this strain along the two dimensional direction so strain along x strain along y then shear strain along x y plane okay now stress vector constitutive matrix or material property matrix and strain vector 
so here i just to show the simple video so you may get clear idea about the plane stress and plane strain and the, also you will get the knowledge about the application of plane stress and plane strain so this is three di three dimensional object okay this three dimensional object okay object is taken as a 2d cases okay so it is clearly explained here you listen carefully in some of the portion i can skip here because it is a lengthier video okay i can play here so here 2d element is taken into account it may be any form so here a 3d is converted into 2d in terms of plane strain and plane strain condition okay so this is a definition as we have discussed so a thin components may be treated as a 2d okay here you can see the clear idea about that so in previous case or previous case so you should imagine but here you can directly see the actual scenario of the stress induced by the plate due to the externally applied load okay so th there is xy plane the load is acting on the xy plane it is called parallel direction so these are the explanation as we have decided now come to the application a thin walled pressure vessel because in case of thin walled pressure vessel the low fluid is present inside the container so that will create the pressure over the surface so that will create biaxial stress okay one is axial stress and one is hoop stress okay the radial stress is zero so that is what that is what here they have mentioned here the thin gears okay here you see if the gear is engaged with the two pair of gears so this is the contact point point between two teeth okay here the load is applied over the surface so it is also taken as plane stress and plane strain condition okay this is also one of the example so we can come to know that so this is a small video about the basic difference and also application of plane stress and plane strain condition so up to this i can wind up the plane stress and plane strain topic thank you so this is the overall structure of our college infrastructure okay so currently admission is going on so you can access our website for getting more in details about our college uh, what are the activities going on so what are the facilities we are having so everything you can access through this website you can if you want to know about in person or you, you can visit here otherwise you can contact through telephone then you can email here though for this lockdown period so we have enabled the online application form also you can apply through this website also thank you